Well, 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 here we are. Happy Tuesday, better known as My Monday. We, uh, we have had an exciting week so far. Uh, we, we launched our, uh, our final video in the Last Spell Damage series, uh, launched the website, uh, which I'm, I'm very excited about, onpotamus.com. Uh, doing well, a little, uh, little, little tired from all the excitement, if I'm being honest and lustrous, but, uh, but overall feeling pretty good about stuff. Yeah. How are, uh, how are you doing this morning? I, I don't think anything's on fire, but, uh, oftentimes we learn these things as we go. I think I remembered all of my, uh, my pre-flight checklist things, so... <laughs> Bray, you're you're never you're never gonna beat in lustrous. Not with that attitude. Uh yeah. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Alright. Let's uh let's get on into this because I, I want to get some solid spell roguing in in the second half of the uh, of the festivities. So so let us let us get back to our atmospheric river. Let us get back to our perpetual drizzle, and uh, and see what uh, see what we're where we left off. Viridian, welcome on in. Good to see you. Good to have you. Take a take a sip from my uh, from my my glass. Let's see. Okay. Another day, another storm. Let us let us remember where we are at the moment. So we're we're over here and we had So we're we still have a long time before the blight cycle. So we could go up and grab these two. As a reminder, we have a crashed world ship. So Viridian, we've already done some of that, as a side note. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, there are a handful of mods on Nexus mods that the community have been making. Uh, but, but I, so I have, like, I started work on stream on a, like, full balance overhaul, like, redoing most of the weapon abilities, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and I would love to do more. I just decided that it wasn't great content for streaming, and I don't have a huge amount of time for other things. So I think this is our most likely landing point. Because we have this airship. So we have the airship. And this is win before year 8 with 300 storm water. And we'll get pipes and sea marrow in perpetuity. Which is a pretty insane bonus. Or we have uh, lose 3 spare parts and gain a blessing for one game. I'm not sure that this is a great event. Then we have the Commenda Contract. Uh, Guild has made you an offer. They found an excellent spot for a trading hub and want you to establish it. In theory, only the Crown uh, can command Viceroys, but the Guild has an unusual gift for finding clever ways around the antiquated laws. So you sign a contract, win with trade routes. What does it mean to win with win a game? Before year eight ends, after completing trade routes worth 150 amber in total. If you succeed, all of your starting caravans will gain the following goods for the duration of this cycle. 10 amber and three parts. This seems very good. Yeah, they, they aren't overhaul mods like the, the, the overhaul mod that we did before, for sure. And then your caravan is suddenly stopped by an old beaver in rugged clothing. So we could learn from him. Lose five years. Lose five years off your current play cycle. Gain the Aramite's Way perk. Blueprint rerolls cost 10 less amber for the next three games. So Wandering Ar Aramite seems good. Commend a contract seems good. Crashed airship, I'm not so convinced on if I thought we could do this 
I I would do it, but 300 Stormwater and completing by year eight feels like more than we can necessarily do. Now, I also remember, I think, in Lustrous telling me that I have to settle near some of these to be able to do them, and I'm not sure which. So I think we can we can safely lose five years. So let me click this and see what happens. Right? How many years do we have here? We have 24 years, so we're losing a fifth of our years, but the, the seal that we're looking for is down here. I think we can safely do that. So do we have to... Is, does this one require being next to him to do? Let's check it out. Can I just click this? Okay, I can just click that. So we lost a little bit of time there. And then... Do you have to settle directly on events? I thought you had to settle adjacent to events to take them. Because I, I can't actually settle directly on this event. Right, so the question is basically, do we settle here and try and do both of them? Which would require the Stormwater thing and winning with trade routes? That seems ambitious. Oh, when you accept the events, you're forced to settle on the tile. Oh, okay. That That is not clear from the description. So this one we still have... We still have to complete this in eight years. But there doesn't look like there's a downside to failing here. So I'm I'm inclined to say let's do the 10 amber in three parts. That's a nice leg up for the remainder. I think this one is a little too... I usually win in seven to eight hours. In seven to eight years, yes. But I, I don't also don't feel like I usually have a lot more. And we're going to be pushing prestige again. So... So the, this is definitely the better reward if we if we succeed but this feels like the more likely one to win with trade event is more value okay then let's just do that one cuz i was i was putting the sea marrow up higher all right let's let's go this way then commend a contract Ooh, so we have some serious choices here. We got beaver lizards, or we have human foxes. Human foxes with tools is a pretty nice get. We could pick up the herbalist, which with humans is pretty interesting, but we don't have enough embarkation points. So I'm definitely going to pick up the people for cheap. Pick up the stone as the more versatile resource. And then... Maybe just some food. What is the biome? It is marshland. Which is low on fertile soil, which means that the humans are less interesting. And I don't think I want to go mainlining harpies. So I think it's probably... Probably this one here. Go, go for beavers. Since isn't it... It's not marshland that has the... That has the... So what are we going to have? Natural resources, we're going to have... Yeah, like lizards are going to do well because we have eggs and meat on the biome. And trees are going to be dropping mushrooms and leather. So beavers, I don't think, will be bad either. We are going to keep pushing the prestige. Uh, so buildings are going to cost more. Yeah, marshlands are the giant nodes one. Right, that's this one here. Giant organisms. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I, I think I like I think I like beavers, beavers lizards. We'll pick up three more. Hope for a good third slot. I think we're ready to go. I do feel like prestige six is going to throw some some wrinkles in our in our plans. Everything being more expensive will be interesting. But let's uh let's do the thing. Here we go.
Okay, what do we have here? Looming Darkness, we know you. Creeping Shadows, discover a glade during a storm will decrease global resolve by 10 for 3 minutes. We never do that anyways. Uh, as a result of heavy rainfall during the storm, travel costs of trade routes increase by 2. The travel costs of trade routes. Is that adding new trade routes? That's not a huge deal. Rotting Wood... Yeah, we do have flooding roads. Wait, do we have flooding roads? I don't see it here. I see rotting wood and cold snap. No flooded roads. You're throwing me off here. So we got rotting wood. Oh, is... Oh, it is called flooded wood. Oh, yeah, that's gonna... So that's gonna make a... Oh, travel cost plus two provisions per trade. Oh. Well, that just means we have to start our trade routes not during the storm, though, right? Ah, it's the, okay, the, tra the tra travel cost was a confusing way to describe that from my perspective. So then we have rotting wood, which we're not too worried about. You, you know, we just won't be cutting down stuff during the storm. And then we have cold snap, which activates very low on hostility. I'm a little worried about that one. Okay, there's, there's some, uh, there's some peril there. And what is this, what is this design? Holy what? We have we have one tile gap between these two? Not a not very pleasant in design. And we picked up harpies, which I'm a little little nervous about as well. Okay. For now, we'll slap a harpy in there. Our our one and only. Yeah, I, I am a little worried that we're just gonna we're just gonna bleed harpies. Let's see. <sighs> the herbalist camp, unfortunately, I don't think we have a we don't have a way to to get it going. So let's see. So we're gonna do. We're, I want to get our stone cutters camp going. We're gonna do that, and then we'll get some food from a trapper's camp. Don't really care which one this one operates on. But that's all of our starting resource nodes. And then we'll get some shelters going. We have nine people at the moment, so we'll get three shelters. You want previous settlement 2.0? Looking for a camp, Boogaloo? Yes, I would. Ooh, things are things are expensive. What's our current wood supply? Oh yeah, we absolutely need to get need to get our uh, lumber mills going. Or excuse me, our woodcutters camps. And then we don't have the materials from... I guess we... Do we still do the the immediate dangerous glade? Is that is that still the strat? I think it probably is. So we'll do that. And then we'll, we'll place this down here. Get those going. Yeah, this is the closest forbidden glade. So I'm going to beeline it through here. We'll get the woodcutters going first, I think. And then priority three for the trappers camps, etc. Then people can start working on the roads. The shelters can take, uh, can wait until after the roads. Oh, this one is dangerous, not forbidden. Uh, I don't, the nearest forbidden might be that one there. Might be this one here as well. Kev, welcome on in. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, there there does not appear to be a forbidden glade anywhere near. 
Like, I, I don't think it's worth... That's a lot of transit time. Oh, amazing. Thank you, uh... Thank you, uh... Uh, Viridian. Let, let me know which way you like to be, uh, like you like to be, pr uh, referred to. And, uh, there's no wrong place to be, wherever, wherever you like to be. The top one is one dangerous glade away from warehouse. Right, this one here. That, that doesn't... Like, but we have to cut through the Dangerous Glade to get there? Is that really... Is that really the play? That seems ambitious. To do a Dangerous directly in. Kev or Viridian? All right, fair enough. All right, well, we'll, we'll start working in that direction. Let's let people start doing, uh, doing their thing. We've got... I think we've got things relatively well queued up. So I, I kind of like getting the first one open relatively quickly. But I but I do hear you. Let's see, let's get four beavers in there. We'll get... Gosh, we are really low on people, I feel like. Our population is feeling significantly lower than... Uh, Yeah, I mean that was that was my thinking. We don't have to open this one immediately, but I'd like to get I'd like to get that going so that we know what we need. We do need a trading post still, which I have not built. Can I tuck you in here? Or can I or can I tuck you away? Eh, it can go in there. We can always move it later. But right off the bat, I feel like our early game is slightly slower. Okay, so I guess we should get, let's get two more lizards chopping wood down here just so that we get the, the resources going. Let's see what our first cornerstone is. Lost in the, Lost in the Wilds is kind of interesting. Silent looting, your scouts have learned how to be cautious when looting abandoned caches. Every time you open or send an abandoned cache to the Citadel, hostility is lowered by 15 points. Silent looting is interesting. We do have, we know we have stone on this map, so caches are something that with our, that we can kind of like work pretty quickly, or I don't think uh, Obsidian Runestone is that good. Hey, Matthew, welcome on in. I don't know this game, but I like say I enjoy your content. I've watched some of your uh, streams on The Last Spell and Spell Rogue. Heck yeah. This is a beautiful, very chill game if you're, uh, if you're looking for something in this genre. It's uh it's kind of a colony sim, but it has has a very good soul, for lack of a better uh, a better descriptor. It's these cornerstones. Yeah, I, I think I think Lost in the Wilds seems fine. And then we need to go back to our blueprints. I kinda wanna wait. Let's just see what we get in this first glade before I make the decision. That it might be our reroll. But gosh, your your early game is really hampered by by the increased building costs, it feels like. Let's see what we have here. Copper or crops. We know we're going to be doing packs, so crops could be pretty good, and industrialized farming is nice. I think we have a lot of the same game interests. I'll have to check this out. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd take a look. It's uh, It's been a fun one. It the, the only, like, caveat that I will make is that the meta progression system is extremely long. Okay, so let's see. So what do we have? We have a cache that we can get into like immediately. Not that it has anything too terribly interesting. We have big eggs, more stone. We have a ranch and a medium mushroom pile. 
That feels pretty non-impactful to me. Like, we'll certainly do this. Oh, wait. Oh, this is the... F oh, Fallen Lizard Hunters. Oh, this is different than what I thought it was. Yeah, I mean, the ranch isn't going to do us much good because we don't have a way to do anything. Oh, you're saying crops for the packs of crops. Now, you're saying this is an easy event, but aren't we going to lose lizards? If we do this? Because I, I don't think there's any way we're getting the uh, we're getting 15 amber here. So aren't we going to aren't we going to bleed lizards if we if we rob the dead here? That's certainly my fear. Okay, well I'm working on upgrading the hearth, so we'll we'll keep on we'll keep on pressing on that front, but the the material cost for even getting housing is feeling a little uh a little spicy at the moment. Now we have we have the herbalist camp here, which means we could start harvesting this mushrooms node if we selected the herbalist camp. Which those mushrooms then could feed into our packs of crops. Yes. So we will we'll pick up that one. Weaver supplier. Now, I seem to remember we can go mushrooms into flour also. Which means the supplier is kind of an interesting pick. Who are do we have multiple pickled goods people? Yeah, so beavers and lizards are pickled good friends. So there's also the granary option. The game heard me. Yeah, I mean, the, the granary does a lot for us. The supplier, the supplier though, like, planks and flour doesn't feel bad either. But the, I think the granary is firing on, on all cylinders. So we'll probably grab that. What are, let's, let's take a look at these. I would, I should have taken these before we, uh, before we went any further. I think now that we have mushrooms, I think packs of crops is very reasonable to grab. Upgrade a pump building geyser pump. Upgrade a building geyser pump to level one. That seems shockingly easy. Deliver five tools. Unless we don't get any geysers. I th this is a bit of a gamble because we might not get geysers. But the, the alternative here is deliver five tools, which is also relatively straightforward. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for the water extraction, even though not finding a geyser could be. I think we'll we'll find a geyser late game regardless. And if we find a geyser early, I think it's good. Quick packaging. There's no way in five minutes we're gonna get this done. It's just, this is not realistic. We have stone, which means we know we don't have copper deposits. So it's got to be beaver resolve here. I, I don't think realistically we can do advanced smelting with metal veins. Because I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe we could just buy the copper at some point down the line. But I think we'll just grab this one. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, so what's... So what's the haps? So we're gonna... We have two minutes left on the drizzle. 
this is now is this is probably the time to immediately rob the dead so we're gonna swap our firekeeper to a lizard now if we favor lizards right now harpies go negative so i don't think we can do this as easily as you were saying in lustrous because we're gonna lose harpies if we do that I, I mean, I just don't have the materials because we're on Prestige 6. I, I have six wood folks doing wood things. So we'll leave it as Harpy for now. But, you know, like, I mean, I can, I can push the deliver button, but we are... I mean, and I can... This is priority zero. I can bump these up in priority. But we need... We need 45 wood. Well, trading post I haven't put any wood into. I did pick up small trappers camp, which we could we could tear down, and stone cutter because we don't really have the the people for them. I guess I guess we get back two houses worth of wood on that. Doesn't really matter. It's not like they were doing anything else, but that's still. We'll we'll deactivate this, but it's not. We're still short lumber for sure. And we have we have a little bit of produced goods here, but we're still we're still going. I'm gonna keep these camps close to what we're doing here, but it it does I think we are now in a situation where Well we can, but not until we get our, our housing built, right? Like right now we need the wood to get the housing built. So if I take away a wood cutter, it's not uh it's not really helping, but yes. Yeah, we do need a park too. Which is gonna be in what, another twelve wood? Does look like we have the materials for this or close to it. But yeah, it's. It, I think we're we're gonna bump into the storm with solving this. Is my fear. We'll see. I'm goid. Finally, I've always wanted to be goid. So we got we got the housing resolve at least done here. Not that that not that the harpies are very happy about it to be honest. Goid was golden, not good. I need one more house. Oh, we picked up another person. What the heck? What happened there? For now, I could probably just... I guess I can't evict uh, someone for someone else, but... Come on, someone build the... Someone build this house so we can get this party started. Why is no one working the house? We have the materials. Like, actually, what's going on here? Jeez. Took him long enough.
Come on. Build already. Okay. So, we go lizard in here. And we put... Doesn't really matter who we put in here. But we do that. And then we favor. And then we're good. All right. Now, we we're looking here. And yeah, I think I think Granary is the play. Ooh, cookhouse. Don't threaten me with a good time. Clan Hall 100%. All your camps produce 100% greater yield. This bonus just does not affect wood cutting. Yeah, that is pretty, that's pretty spicy. We'll hang on to that for a second because we're not going to be building that for a moment. Let's see. So we, we need to get the trade. This needs to get done now. We'll activate that. And then I'm also going to build an herbalist camp up here, I guess. And I'd like to get my stone cutter back. And I think I'm going to poise myself. Now that, now that our wood situation is decent, I think I'm going to put my put this up here and get get us at least a little more ready to go on this front. We don't need to we don't need to mark these. They'll get done when they get done. But we'll go and grab those two. So we're not I'm not going to crack into this until before the uh until a little bit later, but we'll get that going. Trading post is ready to go. We have Zorg, which means we might get a Zorg Seeker ingredient, which was, is that you get skewers when you make pickled goods or you get pickled goods when you make skewers? I forget which it is, but that could be of some use. So it says two minutes left. We're gonna hit the storm we're going to hit the storm way before this is done. This is my concern. Is this really not going to be devastating? It's pickles to skewers. Okay, that's the one that we want, right? Because we picked up the granary. So we, we like the idea of pickles into skewers. So that would be pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, when the storm starts, I will, I will stop woodcutting. That's... That's obviously how I roll. Give us a chance to get some other things built. And our wood is... Passably okay. And the storm comes on in. Yeah, it would have been nice to have those collection buildings that I built at the beginning, but... Now, Trapper Camp, we don't have the full-size one. We could get this going, get some berries and some bricks. I don't think we're going to have the tools anytime soon. So let's get the medium cache going. 
You can still have some wood cutter cutters from hostility. That's a good point. Let's do these because they're a little more effective. There we go. Keep ourselves under under one hostility. And I'll I'll lock in Clan Hall at the uh, at the recommendation of Inlustrous. Now we don't oh we don't have a planks production thing, do we? Yeah, we so we need to get a crude workstation up and operational. Forgot that. The Twitch integration for this Kona. No, I haven't. I didn't actually know that there was a Twitch integration, if I'm being a hundred percent honest with you. Tell me can you tell me a little bit about it? I'm very curious. Twitch integration is basically Twitch gets to vote and uh, pick your blueprints and cornerstones. Oh, interesting. Feels like an opportunity for you guys to be pretty mean to me. <laughs> but yeah, that could be a fun one. Mm, three harpies feel spicy. The planks would be nice, though. That would get our granary going. We're, we're two planks. Oh, we are fabric short, too, on it, aren't we? Skip pipes for now. Yeah, chat could definitely screw you over. Not if you ban everyone but yourself. And Lustrous, don't let the power go to your head. All right, so we got we got an influx of people coming in. We got we're good on this front, which means we can we can stop favoring here and let things normalize and equalize. But people are still going to be. Clearing, clearing things out for the moment. Every every option gets one vote from from Inlustrous. but uh, yeah, I, I do think that it would be. Now, what do we? Oh, we could go up to seventeen. The Beaver Resolve isn't too far off. Technically, we should have. We should have a Harpy in here. If we're not, if we don't need the resolve right now. So I'm going to go ahead and swap that, which that increases carrying capacity, right? Yeah, global carrying capacity. So we'll get these two cleared out a little bit faster with the harpy at the at the helm. So Kono, tell me, uh, tell me a bit more about your experience with uh, with against the storm. Are you like a, a power player who's playing on uh, what is it called? Queen's hand and uh, prestige 30 and those sorts of things. So makeshift post, we're going to start creating some fabric, which we'll need for the granary and some planks. I might hold off on bricks for the moment. We have enough. In fact, we have enough, so I'm not too worried about it. We can just leave that there. Got it last week. However, 50 hours in it playing on Pioneer. Okay, so you're you're cruising though. That's uh, you're you're going you're going to town. You're putting in the work. Okay, as soon as the storm is over, Trader will arrive. We'll go back to chopping, and we'll uh, we'll think about cracking into this Forbidden Glade ASAP so we can see what we're working with. Another one of those ancient grain nodes would be pretty spicy. So right now we're at 19 potentially with favoring. So the... 
I think that we can do, yeah, we can do the, I'm going to favor the beavers immediately, but let's, uh, let's see what our cornerstone offer is. Newly discovered resource no nodes have five more for small and 15 more. Ancient Pact. Ancient Pact is always pretty tempting. Uh, protected Trade. Hostilities reduce by 10 points every time you sell goods worth 30. Yeah, I think we we get it regardless without the the lizard there, so we can keep the we can keep the harpy in there. I think it's it's ancient pact. I think could be really really good for us. We're getting it early. I don't think it's a huge deal. So I think ancient pact is the play. That way we can pick nodes that are that are exactly what we want. Protected trade is what we'll be doing. Yeah, protected trade lines up with our plan of doing trade routes. Ancient Pact, though, could be a huge boon to getting the resource nodes and things that we need to be able to do it. Like, like the intel is, is not to be slept on. I'm going to hold off on this for a second. Let's see what Zorg is selling this time. He's not selling his mystery meats. Hey, Cravalo. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. So yeah, so we're not getting... I'm not seeing anything too transformative here. So I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to take Ancient Pact. So that I can see what we're see what we're working with. So let's see. So if we had cracked into this, we would have gotten an Ancient Burial Site. Okay, so Proto-Wheat is on tap here in this forbidden glade that's uh that's a spicy meatball over here we have a dead leviathan for all the meat we could possibly get we also need to find a geyser there's a drizzle water geyser there Your stream reminds me that I bought this game and never touched it afterwards. Oh, that's a shame. It's a, it's a good one. It's a good one. We have fertile soil here and a shaman merchant. We have a stormwater geyser here. Clearance water geyser here. Drizzle here. There's not a great drizzle option. Uh, Proto-wheat is a green camp that we don't have yet. Wait, wasn't Proto-wheat herbalist? No, I guess it's not. The they can be pretty powerful, uh, Kona, in, in the right hand. So we could do this. We could get this stormwater geyser relatively quickly, or this clearance water geyser. Giant fungus is herbalist. I don't think we have that on tap at all. Giant proto fungus. There it is. Do I remember that the dark gate was a pretty bad one to get? Because we could. We could go down to the proto-fungus since we have the herbalist camp. It would mean going through this. We get our geyser here. We can do fallen lizards again. That's pretty decent. We get more mushrooms. Coal veins, copper veins. Right now I'm thinking we... we cut through this and go for the giant proto fungus we also got some stags around the edges yeah I think that's the plan we we chopped up this way but to to no great end. Now we're gonna have to deal with we're gonna have to deal with lizards, which is a freebie, which we love. So we're gonna extend this this way, and let's just get. It's thirty luxuries, or sixty oil, or three fire essence. We have no luxuries on tap, but it's probably not something we're gonna crack into during this until before the next trader, anyways. What do we have? 
We technically have the Wildfire Essence, but that's that taps us out on Wildfire Essence. And yeah, we're just lacking luxuries. We should get our people before I before I forget. I, I prefer to have these, but I'm just going to take the higher population number. We have one homeless, which means one more shelter must be added to the mix. Right, so we, we can do this one immediately, and then I was going to favor the beavers, but let's finish off, let's finish off the fallen lizard hunters first. Where's, where's my other beaver? Okay, so yeah, so we got a beaver over here. Sorry, I'm going to interrupt you to get you doing this, and then... Get that going. Let's see about orders. Build eight beaver houses in eight minutes, and we get a clay delivery line, pickle goods, and five beavers. Ooh. Uh, hold on. We can we just can't unpause before we look at that. I should have probably thought about that before I open that up. Beaver houses are 12 planks. No freaking way. That's an insane number of planks. Yeah, that's not happening. No way, Jose. This is just incredibly expensive. At 12 luxury goods. Now, is this eight houses or eight people housed? And need for skewers. I think it's lizard relatives, but it, none of these are great. Eight houses? What do, what do lizard houses get made out of? Fabric and bricks? We at least have some decent bricks. So, we'll take that. Then we only get two choices here. Packs of provisions, we're going to be want to be using them for other things, is my suspicion. We need a butcher to make this work. That feels a little rough, but the heavy press would be nice. I'm going to sit on that one for the moment, I think. Just hold off. A Zorg. I don't think there's much that we can do with Zorg, with our boy Zorg. Are we doing okay on food? We're doing okay on food. What is our source of food right now? Where is our food coming from? I don't think anywhere. We should get some people working in the mushroom. Do we have... What do we have for free people? We'll get, we'll get those guys working on the mushroom for now. By 30 potamus. <laughs> Pots are all of the pickled goods. What does it cost to grab all these? That's pretty darn expensive. All 50 pots. Really expensive. Can't give up all our gears. I, I don't know where we're getting the the resources for this. We can we can obviously let some food go. Leave ourselves with some veg and some eggs. What are we built? What are we getting the pottery for? Why, why do we want the pottery? Is that for the dark gate? Just some for pickled goods? So you, you're, you're really confusing me and Lustrous. You're, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break here from, from checking that out and, and let you collect your thoughts because at the moment I'm, I'm baffled by what you're trying to tell me. You said buy all the pots. You said no need to buy all the pots. 
The pots for pickled goods make sense once we get the granary up and operational. Okay, so if we do this, this is going to be a minus 12. Our lizards are currently good, so I'm just going to get this going as soon as possible. We have no one working our stone cutter camps, which is regrettable. I'm going to put one person in the stone cutter camp and do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The geyser's on the list. We knew we had a geyser coming here. Oh, we did lose a woodcutter. That's unfortunate. Are we down to four beavers? No. Where's our fifth beaver currently allocated? Like, actually, where's our fifth beaver? Oh, is our fifth beaver our floating beaver? Yes, they are. Okay. Okay, so before this runs out, I will buy some pots. I'm going to buy 20, and I'm just going to sell... Actually, I'll buy as many pots as we can get from the berries and roots that we have. That looks good to me. That way, once we get the granary up and running, we can we can make some pickled goods, and we're not blocked on that. Since the pickled goods are doing us a lot of good right now. So let's see. What, what can we potentially get out of this? Clothing, pie, ooh, wildfire essence. That could be used in the dark gate. So that's gonna be that's gonna be on the list that we wanna do. If we swap a a firekeeper lizard here, we can get the beaver resolve right now. Hopefully before the storm. This is not a smart place to put the, uh, to put the road. There we go. That I don't think cracks in, so I think we're fine. And then we can move this down here to start work on that. And we'll also do this because there's like a nice mine opportunity here with some clay, uh, some some copper and some some of the rest so okay the beaver resolve is done is there any reason for us to hold off right now we could we could chill on it but having more people is having more people so let's let's get this now Because pretty soon the beavers are going to be yearning pretty hard for the mine. I mean, they already yearn for the mine, if we're being honest. Or the mine's uh, ranch. Now, ranch, we can power the ranch with mushrooms, right? No, we can't. The ranch's lack of compatibility. Uh, no one is. Uh, who is working? Two lizards are working there, working the patch of mushrooms. The, so the ranch is pretty incompatible with our current mushroom direction, unfortunately. Really stinks that you can't use mushrooms to generate eggs or meat. Swap them to harpy. Oh, I didn't realize we got a we got a bonus for that. 
Let's uh let's go. Let's go two harpies. Yeah, I didn't realize that the herbalist camp counted as as such. We picked up a new blueprint. Now we already have a ranch. If we claim that ranch up north, we don't get anything. Now, for fertile for for plantation, we do have fertile soil on offer here. We get 12 fertile soil. Okay, so you're saying I'm I'm overstaffed on the camps. Noted. We only have one person doing stone. I will ditch one of you from that. I do think we need two people working crude workstation. So plantation. I'm tempted to pick up the plantation and try and get this fertile soil running. We get a wandering shaman also, which might help us get dark gate ready. I don't know which one the shaman is, if I'm being honest, but... That was painting with too broad a brush. Yeah, it's got, it's got packs of, uh, it's got berries and it's got, uh, and it's got plant fiber, which we could use at the ranch if we wanted to. Or we could just use it to make fabric, but we have a leather option from that. We have a meat option from that. And we could toss the berries into making eggs too. So it seems pretty, it seems like a pretty good value to rebuild. But I, I think we can hold off on that and I may start, I may take one of these two and move it up here and just crack into this immediately. Now, we're going to go we'll go like that for now. And then I, I'm going to do, I'm going to crack into it that way. There we go. Okay. So would you just salvage then? Is that your, uh, do, you, do you think it's just, it's just better for us to pick up? Okay, have we finished this? We have not finished this. What changed that all of a sudden they're low? Did we unfavor them? Did we never favor? I guess we never favored them. I guess I'll just favor them. But I'll, I'll hold off on that. It is weird to me that that they all of a sudden did, because I don't think we ticked up a hostility level. Ah, pickled goods ran out. I see. This is never gonna get built. Are we is someone making some some fabric? Is that happening? It looks like we may be done with this before they actually hit uh, hit a critical problematic juncture. Now, so what are the what are the materials we need for the dark gate again? I've already forgotten. Hit them with the favor temporarily, just so we don't we don't get into jeopardy. Incense tea scrolls or wildfire. Oh yeah, we, we do pick up the wildfire from this if we turn it in, which we can definitely do. Once we have some people available. Okay, there we go. We no longer need to f uh, favor them. Not really anything of interest here. So we haven't taken plantation yet. 
but nothing else here is particularly of interest. I guess we will have some copper. Time to make a makeshift post. It's reasonable. There's no reason not to get dug into this, so we'll keep doing that. I guess we get, we'll get a little hostility bump, but in exchange, we're going to be picking up the plantation. Which we need people to man said plantation, and I'm not ready to crack into this until we get, until post-storm. Oh yeah, we can do the level one upgrade. And then do we immediately want to turn this in? Or do we want to ride high on the... We get two people. I think we, I think we take this... How worried am I about the storm? Yeah, I think I think people are worth taking right now. Let's grab that and then Have I looked at this one? Yes, I have. I'm just going to hold off. We're not making packs of provisions yet, so We do need uh, another shelter. And then I said I wanted to get this going. So let's get that. Let's get that cooking. It is miraculous to me that we still don't have fabric. Oh, we have nothing to make fabric with. How am I going to deal with that? I guess the plant fiber will help out. Oh yeah, I forgot we had you coming in. Oh, okay, so there's incense. Which is pretty good. Crystal growth, heavy press, scouts toolbox, or fragrant roots. Not sure there's a lot else that we're excited about here, but the 30 incense is big, and I think four gears for 30 incense is fine, and we can maybe pick up a few planks as well. Yeah, this looks very reasonable. I don't think, now the dark gate was a short turnaround, but I don't think we can do it before, before we get going, so. I think this might be all, all we want here. Why is the trade button not allowed? I middle clicked this and it's not making my, it's not allowing me to trade. That was weird. The auto balance was creating a trade that the guy wouldn't accept. It's odd. How much, how many reeds can we get? We could grab some reeds just so we get fabric production going. Might be better than planks. Right, I am, I am going to have them done before that happens. So we'll do that trade. So this one's already open, which is great. Uh, that's gonna go away and then we're gonna get our plantation going. We definitely don't need these mushrooms, so let's get rid of those so we can get our warehouse in and operational as well. Okay, so we've got this one open. We're not opening this one during the storm. We've already 
Have we committed? I think I put, you think I put the plantation on one of the farm tiles. Doesn't look like it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, it was twelve. It was twelve tiles. Yeah, so we're gonna do the dark gate right after the storm. So I think I think we're just straight chilling at the moment. I do think we can get our mine built. Kind of hoping that the proto fungus is up at the top here so we can put like a warehouse kind of near the mine. Now, you guys have materials. Please make me the last fabric that I need to get my granary up and running. Holy smokes. Skewers and biscuits from the cookhouse. Barrels from the cooperage. This looks like our first reroll. That's my... Cookhouse is good, but we only have one skewer person. And I guess we'll technically get flour potentially from biscuits, but I don't think it's... I don't think it's worth doing. Low on fuel is definitely alarming. As we're about to head into the storm. We have... We have six woodcutters going. I guess it's just that they have long round trips. So just for the last couple minutes here, I think I'm... Since we've got everything cracked into, I'm just going to move them down here so maybe we get like one round trip of of chopping before the storm, but that may that may prove bad for us. It's the makeshift post getting built, not exactly the one that I wanted to get done first. The shelter is important and it's getting built, so that's good. The meat nodes behind well so we we bought the reeds, so there's no there's we're gonna have we're going to get the last fabric that we need to make the granary. I'm not worried about that. Yeah, we'll be we'll be good on that front. Okay, stop woodcutters. All right. So we are entering the storm of year 2. We need to get the granary built. We have a proto fungus down here that we're gonna try and make our own. And we're, uh, we're trying to get our plantation up and running, but the fuel situation is gonna be a little spicy. I think the mine is too slow. We're already on a, a fire keeper, which is not, that's not good. But I think the issue right now is that we're not getting the full housing bonus until this house goes up. So I think things are going to get better when the house goes up. Yes, everybody's everybody's chilling. Everybody's cool. Very cool, very legal. We can put one beaver back on wood chopping. But I think we're going to run out of fuel. I've put the mine on high priority. But it's going to take a minute. We are now at zero wood. Houston, we have a wood problem. Yes, we can start making some packs of provisions. Uh, for now, packs of building materials are off the menu. And we can, we can fung, I think we can fungus some packs of crops as well. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna make packs of provisions, set them at, set it at 10, I think. 
And I am going to make it one higher priority than packs of crops, which I'll set at 20. But yeah, the fuel thing is worrying me. Oh, I have granary for crops. You're right. Well, I will have granary for crops. I do not currently have granary for crops, but that's where we should be doing it. You are correct. Uh, fabric, whatever you have access to. Let's turn off crops here. Yeah, we'll just make packs of provisions there. Uh, what's going to happen when our fuel runs out or whatever? Or are we going to... Because, hold on, we're... I think I'm going to stop making planks. And I'm going to free up the wood here to make sure that we have some wood. We'll come back to that, but, you know, temporarily, I think we're, we're okay to do that. Where'd the... They were supposed to, they were supposed to take those reeds and make fabric. Why did, where, is, is the fabric just en route? Okay, it is. The granary is done. If Hearthfire goes out, it is minus 20 resolve penalty. That seems bad. Uh, but we, we saved a little bit of wood. I think that that was the, that was the clutch maneuver. And for now, I'm only going to do coal in the mine. But I, but the, the beavers are yearning to, to solve our fuel problem. And I am yearning to let them. We're going to hit this with a reroll. Clothier makes the harps harp the harps happy, the harpies happy. Um, artisan though, for luxury goods, it isn't the worst idea. I think artisan might be the play. Druid hut for the oil could be interesting too. There are at least some options here. I think small farmer is not going to have the farmland to 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 make it work. I am going to get some harpies in here to see if I can get this plowed before the storm is over. Okay, so fabric we stop making over here. Not gonna I'm not gonna re-enable this. You guys just let's just stop working there for the moment. Let's put the two of you in here. We'll eventually get a fabric recipe there, so we never need fabric again here. Uh, I want I want some pickled goods first, I think. Well, I guess they're gonna make whatever they're gonna make, aren't they? All right. You can make oil from meat. There are meat nodes. That's true. We, we do have these two large meat nodes. So you, you think it's Druid Hut. I can see that. Right now, though, I'm trying to solve my, my fuel problem with coal. So the oil doesn't uh, interest me that much. The oil as a fuel source doesn't interest me that much. And we already bought the incense to solve the dark gate. So we're going to do that as soon as we... As soon as we get through. And then it's going to be all hands on deck for mushroom production, I think. I think we're just going to... Blow the doors off with mu mushroom collection. Which if we had taken humans would have been really nice. Uh... Oh, wait, no, actually, harpies are amazing, right? Because harpies are going to be happy in these herbalist nodes, and we're going to have, like, three of them. How far are we off from the clan hall? Uh, a staggering number of planks that I can't really start making until later. I don't really want to re-enable planks in the crude workstation until we get chopping once again. Yeah, I mean, I can I can set it down just to get it like you know queued up, so we remember that it's there. But yeah, I mean, we'll we'll happily buy them if if we get uh, get the offer. We had an offer here of planks. But I, and I should have probably thought about that, but. So 
Storm's almost done. Ooh, hostility just went down. Okay. Not quite enough. <laughs> just slightly short. Let's see. Are we create we're creating pickled goods, which probably means that we should disable raw food relatively soon. Okay, so let's let's do the things in in no particular order. I think I want to get. I'll take the planks, the bricks, the clothing, and and the harpy because I think harpies are going to be doing good work for us. Uh, we were we're holding off on this one, but I think packs of provisions is the way to go. So we'll grab that. We have our first trade routes available. Where the heck did we get 60 ale? I guess it was in one of the caches. I think we send the full deal just to get some cash flow going. Yeah, let's send the... F or, or we could save the packs of provisions for aid the lizard clan hall. For that, we get five lizards. I think we do... Wait, no. That's not the one. We get three lizards for that. Yeah, let's send our, our first set of packs of provisions to aid the clan hall. Let's look at cornerstones. Clay delivery line, bed and breakfast. This time it's the guild who's going to pay you, not the other way around. Gain 10 amber every time a trader arrives. But sell the ale through a trade route or sell the ale to a trader? There's two ways to go about that, I feel like. All right, so we're going to move you down here and get you going. I'm going to take... Do I want to just leave the beavers going there? I don't know. Steel picks is 200% stone. Where did I just see steel picks? Okay, yeah, that's that's a big one. We'll get we'll get that. Okay, and we're gonna trade route the ale. Get that going. And then we could send away our last five pie, but I don't think we need to do that. We have two more of these, but I'm I'm a little wary of them being timed orders. Let's see, we just where do we have any other beavers floating around? No. Okay, so we need to take some out of the mine. What's our... How much coal have we produced over here? 11? All right, I'm going to take two beavers off of here and put... Put two beavers in here, because I think wood is still very, uh, very critical to our... To what we're up to. So I'll grab these, and then... I'm going to put someone back... Put two people back in here. I would love to have a better plank recipe. And for now, we're good on resolves. So let's switch to a harpy firekeeper. Okay. And how much uh how much are we sitting on for pickled goods? Zero at the moment. That doesn't make entirely too much sense to me. Let's see what our first one of these is. What the heck is this? Loyalty. Complete at least three events with loyalty. We get. Uh, the property of the deceased is seized for the benefit of the whole. Gain 20 random goods every time a villager dies. The other one, that looks like the clan hall. It is. Okay. We need to come up with a training gear solution, but we have the clan hall already, so I'm going to go with this one. And then for our final one, open or sell four abandoned caches of any size. We get two, plus two export specialization, tools, and training gear delivery. This is insane. Can we chest chase? Let's answer that question. So down here, we're going to get one large abandoned cache, but that's a ton of stone that we're going to need. We have steel pickaxes, so it's like, it's not terrible from a stone perspective. But then, what we really need is we really need to identify a bunch. Of, so we have a small abandoned cache here. Small abandoned cache here. That's one, two. 
we could do very quickly. Three here. So we have those three, and we're no, we know we're cracking into this almost immediately. So how much stone do we currently have? 32. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other, the other woodcutter that's here and start cracking into this. Where was it? We got, we had this one. We had this one and this one. Okay, so let's get... So we can actually leave it right where it is. We'll do that. I'm going to move one of you guys to here. So we're going to cut through there, and then we'll cut through here. And we'll get those two done. Oh, uh, no. Do not unpause. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to do that one. We're committing. Yeah, we need a second stone cutter for sure. To to try and fuel that, but I think we're we're good. We're gonna crack into this. We actually already have this large cache, which we're oh we're just oh is this gonna count towards the time order or do we have to have done the processing on it first? Because we're we're in the process of doing this one right now, and if we got that one for free, that would be amazing. It won't count. Okay, good to know. We could buy some stone, which would which would mean that we didn't need the extra person in the stone cutter camp. Might be a good idea. Okay, so we're just going to I think we're going to chill. I don't see anything here. Like we could buy the reeds. The reeds would be a decent purchase. But I don't know that we have the what, what it takes to buy them. Maybe we just buy... Here's an idea. Let's put the reeds back. I'm just going to take this, the insects, that, and that. We'll hang on to the fungus. And let's buy as many reeds as we can. This is just to get our material processing going, get some more fabric. Now, fabric is currently... We're consuming... How much are we consuming per fabric craft? Three. So... We should do a multiple of three. So let's do 24. Yeah, we'll do 24. That'll get us some more fabric, which will mean that we're, we're not blocked on fabric for the time being. Can we get anything else with our tiny little bit of a remainder? No, we can't. Okay, so we got that. We'll be in here in a second, but I think the large caches are too expensive. Okay, so the dark gate... We just want to do initially. Uh, two planks is amazing. Barrels are good. Trade contracts are good. Okay, all, all this is very good. We have, we have bought the incense. So... Do we just immediately do it? Kills, it's going to kill a random villager. We just lost a random villager. A miner died. I'm going to move this. Let's see. So if we, if we do that there, that's better. So I'm going to move this up here and crack into this. Because this one had the small abandoned cache. No cache there, no cache there. Okay. There's the proto fungus. Yes, thank you, Lord Farquad. Uh, I guess I guess we just do this immediately. Yeah, let's let's just get this going. Okay, we lost a woodcutter. Okay, 
We got two there. We got two there. I think that's just the way it's going to be. Oh, is that the corpse of the woodcutter? I didn't realize that they do that. Jeez. It's a bit of a downer. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to put a warehouse like here. We, we don't need the... The warehouse is not the most critical thing. Also, these copper and uh, and coal veins being so near each other is pretty nice. Like, eventually, we may get some copper production. But, like, for now, at least we have... At least we have a little bit of coal, which I think means we're going to be a little less under the gun. We do need to get that tree, too. We have eight minutes left on the caches. Okay, we need we can start getting this one going, I think. Yeah, it won't take that long. So let's just get him get him sending it. Yeah, I'm gonna take take you off as well. This can come down here and we can start working on on this as well. I'm gonna put extra workers into these just to make sure that this is really going. We have three homeless. I should I should build another shelter. So, okay, so one, two, three. And then was my, I guess my plan is to do the large cache that's here as number four. It only takes a minute. So I'm going to, I'm going to do this here and we don't have to clear it out. Right, the, the quest only requires it to be opened, not to be emptied. We can, we can, we're already on a harpy, so that should half the carrying time. Makeshift post has some idle. It does. Yeah, we don't we don't have any resources for this. So let's get you out of there. We get pickled goods from the proto fungus. How curious. Still don't know about this. You were you were advocating for Druid's Hut. I think I'm just gonna chill on that for a second. We could send the pie away. Eh, right now it's making our harpies happy. I think I'll probably not send the food away. Come on, team. Crack on with it. So over here, oh yeah, 40 stone is going to take a minute to to get going. I'm glad I, I queued that up when I did. Six minutes is, is a little spooky. We what, what could we be doing to move faster? Not much, I don't think. Okay, one cache is opened. So that top cache got opened, which means we can... I mean, I don't think there's much value in, in removing him from the from the mix right now. We do have a blight rot problem. All we have to do is build this and... 
the rest will follow, but planks remain like a huge problem. Okay, so let's actually just keep going, guys. Keep it moving. Okay, so both of these now need to move, like, down here. And we just need to cut a diagonal ASAP. Get someone working on this. Ancient tablet. How are we doing here? 20 of 40. Gosh, the stone does take a long time to carry. Building a hearth or upgrading one solves the blight rot problem. Okay. okay stop, stop prioritizing that tree. I guess it's already gone. A blue and a green? We could do a blue and a green. Although we don't have any planks, so can we do? We can't really. Tear down the clan hall for resources? I guess so. Okay, you are... You're getting delivered. 12 is annoying, but... So, five minutes. This one's just 10 away. So next delivery gets that one done. We have enough stone at the moment. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take one of these guys off stone. We're lacking fabric. Oh, fabric comes from the granary, doesn't it? Never mind. Why are they just always making pickled goods? Let's just, let's just upgrade fabric for the moment to make some. We can set a relatively low cap on the fabric, like 10, but I'm going to get, I want them to get going on that. Maybe fabric is in the granary storage. Tiny bit of it is, but did I take someone out of there? No, there are two people in there. Okay. Okay, this should crack this open. That's the last stone delivery going to there. Okay, so we now have... This guy is working on it. 58 seconds left on that. This is just going to take two deliveries. I'm going to put a second lizard on here to get the, the second half of the delivery. Right. We have we have a blight post going and we have we have five purging fire in in our uh, in our coffers or whatever you want to call it. So I think we're good on that front. So as soon as this gets built, we will have five purging fires and there are five cysts. So I think we're we just need someone to do the do the work. We'll move this up to here for now. And once we get this small warehouse going, we'll want to build, I think, more more herbalist camps. Please tell me the last stone delivery is coming, which will... Okay, so it says two of four. This one is done and being harvested. This one is going. This one's almost done. Okay. So we should have... We have two more going and they're almost done. Any more spare harpies for the herbalist camp? Not at the moment. But the plantation could probably be anyone. The harpies don't care much for it. And I, I left that intentionally on both, but... Okay, 20 seconds on that. 
two seconds on that. So this should go up to three. There we go. And this should go up to four in 15 seconds. We did it. We don't need, we don't need two people on this, but I guess it does accelerate it. So we'll do that. All right, that was a big, that was a big timed event. This does need to get built though, ASAP, people. Oh, we also have five homeless that went up. Okay, it is done. But we have, we need the blight post to get built and we need this to get built. So I need to now just, we'll, we'll collect all the goods from these later. I just need, I need like six builders ASAP. Let's look at orders. So this one we have to do now uh, before the storm. So let's just do it. It gets the training gear thing going. This one... I think we want to leave the impatience high for the moment. So I'm going to deliver this one because we just have to. That one's not going to be able to be kept off. Rich Harvest, though, I'm going to hang on to for after. Afterwards. Now, we have enough. I think we have enough wood to be good. But we... Our coal didn't do as much as I wanted it to. But that's mainly because I yanked the coal producers out of... Out of the mines. Stop the woodcutters. This is still being worked on. Okay, the dark gate is done. Even even better. So let's see. So the mines for you guys, we we can put someone back in the makeshift post. Put someone back. Keep the stone cutter going. Might as well. We're limited. Are we limited to 10 right now? Yeah, we are. Let's make this 30 so that we can get that going. And I'll put a second person in there. And then... Yeah, I, I do want to do some building. So let's let's get that done. The Blight Rot Post. Please tell me someone's going to start building this soon. Or we're going to have a bad time. So what do, what do I need to do here? It's it's mostly the housing problem, I think. After after this gets done and we get some people in here. Oh my gosh, why is that taking so quickly? Does that make them happy? Hey Sam! Is this the happy or the, the higher yield? This is the higher yield. So let's get Let's get the lizards in here to do the firefighting ASAP. And then it's mostly like... I think I think we're just going to get eviscerated on harpies. Uh, is there anything else we can do right now? We can't really afford to burn fuel. Nor would 50 less hostility help us. Hmm. I don't think we have any options. So this is, this is double yield. Yeah, so we don't really... Yeah, I think we are, we are going to lose some harpies. Uh, and I don't, I don't know... Another level one would solve another level one harp hearth would so solve it 
I don't think we, we can't do it in time, though. It's frustrating that these didn't get built. Yeah, I, I don't think I think we can do anything right now. This God, the harpies tick down so fast. It's kind of insane. Because we don't have any pie. They eat jerky and biscuits. That doesn't help. Yeah, no. It's a bummer. Are we getting our... Are we at least burning our blight rots? Okay, we are doing that. Uh, are we just going to lose all of them, though? At zero, we still lose them, so that's no good. Is there any way I could even eke out one rep? Looks like no. Jeez. Just eviscerated. Yeah, so, so because the hostility is not going down, they're just going to keep dying. Which is definitely a bummer. I mean, the hostility is going down, but not fast enough. Oh, I don't really want you making cleansing fire, purging fire. Let's, let's just take everybody out of this. Well, but that makes the lizards less happy, right? Eh, it doesn't make them much less happy, so I guess we'll just do that. No, we'll get four more harpies back. <laughs> Although I'm, I'm starting to think we're going to lose more than four harpies, so that's fun. Did the housing help at all? No. <laughs> nope. What am, what am I building right here? We don't need another shelter anymore. Well, we will in a second. Oh my gosh. It's a freaking bloodbath. Can we at least save our lizard? I mean, I just I don't have any people. I don't have that many people in Lustrous. Building still seems to be the right the right play. We will technically get the level 2 Hearth here, which might save us a lizard. No, that had basically no effect on anything. I thought getting up to level two was going to be was our other saving option in addition to that, but I guess not. I only have one lizard to do that with. I'm a little confused as to why things have gotten worse over the course of this, uh, over the course of this storm. It seems like people are dying, so why isn't, aren't things getting better? Only level one gives res resolve, level two gives reduction spe production speed. Then why, when we were talking about it earlier, was it recommended to get level two to try and save us? Anyways, um, I don't know. 53 seconds. We still have to do more. Because we had Blight Rot. Because we had Blight Rot. That only gets us down to negative 2 here. 
All right, I guess we're just, we're losing a ton of people. This is gonna be really bad for us, I think. Last Harpy is about to leave. Woof. That sucks. We still have pickled goods, so it wasn't the fault of pickled goods. Oh, great. And now, and now everybody's like, okay, we're chill. But yeah, we're down to no people. So. I think year eight's feeling a little ambitious for, for doing just about anything right now. That was, uh, that was a pretty massive setback. Okay, so. Cornerstone, urban planning. For every 10 completed trade routes, all houses will have room for one more person. That's pretty good. Uh, wood production is increased by one, but harvesting and planting is slower. Global resolve is increased by five. Chances of villager consuming twice as much food. Hmm. Need to think on those, but let's let's take our our bevy of harpies. We're out of gears. Oh, that's not good. Um, that's a that's a new problem as well. Dismantle the mine. I guess I guess we have to. The mine's the only thing that's been keeping our head above water. We get three parts back. Which means now we we do have the five and ten. Take Rudy Ground and and fuel is solved. All right, that's that seems like a thing that we need. Uh, I will take this now. Beaver resolve feels. Oh man. Forbidden glade. We get saw blades, pickled goods, and metallurgic proficiency. And we have eight minutes to open a forbidden glade. Let's look at our forbidden glades. We've already dug to this one. Ancient burial site. This is where my my game knowledge is a little lacking. So I will I will defer to can we do an ancient burial site? Cuz that's our only other forbidden glade. Oh, we do have this one technically with a lightning catcher. Old Faroof, my my friend of friends. What do you have here? An advanced rain collector. Did not know such a thing was here. Ooh, Way of the Forest is interesting. I think I'm just going to sell the ancient tablets. That'll give us a nice money infusion, which means we can buy some fabric, finally get that sorted out. We can also buy some gears, which we might need to do. That is an expensive event. Well, is it is it expensive to the tune of not being worth 40 pickled goods and plus 5 on saw blades? Cuz we have the ancient tablets, so we can like when we say expensive, what is the ancient burial site? I guess that's what I want to know. Okay, so ancient burial site. Looking at it on the wiki. 
so that I can understand. Ancient burial site, at least on the wiki, which may be outdated, is 20 incense. Is that not correct anymore? Oh. Okay, so the screenshot of it seems incorrect. Okay, so it is... Requirements are... 15 tools and 15 packs of building materials. That's the only one that we would potentially be able to solve. We have 15 tools. 15 packs of building materials. Oh, so we need 60 food. No, wait, no, no, no. That's what I'm saying. It's it's 15 tools and 15 packs of building materials or 60 food and 60 incense, 60 luxury goods. But tools and building materials seems like the one that we could potentially do. We have the tools. Right. Oh, 15 tools or 15 packs, not and. Okay, the wiki is terrible at explaining. I guess, okay, I guess it's the plus that denotes and. I guess I understand that now. It's not the way that I would have uh, would have done that. Okay, but we have 15 tools. So it's not, it's totally worth doing, right? This is, this is an easy, it's an easy solve. Yes, I will take the order. There we go. We're we're committed now to that. Now over here, we'll take the Druid's Hut. Lumber mill with reinforced stone blades goes crazy. Seems reasonable. Fif Go for the go for the lumber mill. I mean, we don't really need it, but it does give us a better a better pack of trade goods option too. So I'll grab that as well. Now, old Faroof. I'm gonna sell the ancient tablets. I don't I don't think there's any value in hanging on to them. And I think I want I want at least two amber because I'm gonna pick up the way of the forest. And then I want some gears. And I can take some planks or I can take some fabric. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking nine planks, fabric, and amber, and then I can buy way of the forest. Looks good to me. Okay. Good. Now, trade routes. What are our what are our current trade routing things going on? Uh, I'm not gonna send the planks because I think it's time for us to start looking at the guild hall again. But after the lumber mill. Get the lumber mill up and operational first. Mine we can potentially tear down. What are we, how many, we have five builders at the moment. That's a lot of builders for what we're building. So let's get, I'm just gonna toss someone into these. We'll, we'll come collect them again if we need to, but let's just get people at least pulling the stuff out of that just because it's random wealth. Do we have anything else that we just don't care about? Not really. Bad draws here, because I really don't think we can send planks out. Come on, guys. Get, get going up here. I need... I think I am going to ditch the mine. Get those materials back. Trade with stone. That's a good point. We do have we do have an insane amount of stone. What would this look like? Okay, that's we have an insane amount of stone but not that insane an amount of stone. Let's do 20 and 20. And I'll send 100 106 stone away. I think that's good. Just to just to accelerate things a little bit. 
Oh, the farm. Damn it. Wait, hold on. I don't want the harpies in here. Because this should be coming up and operational pretty soon. And I guess I can put a harpy in here for now. But eventually I want another harpy going there. We don't need the resolves. Let's put a harpy in here. Yes, I, I was planning... The clan hall was on the list. I just wanted to make sure that the lumber mill got built first. Why, why are you delivering to here? Oh, I guess we're, we're doing the delivery from the woodcutter. That's taking longer than I would like it to. But yeah, we're pretty good. We're pretty good on materials now. You, we just don't have... Without the berry farming, we don't really have a way to get things going. We're building a house that we don't really need. Food is looking grim. What's going on over here that is making that the case? I guess we need another person here. In the granary. You're collecting some clay. You're collecting some insect stuff. Collecting a bunch of stuff. I think we I think we chill on that and please tell me someone is like chopping this tree down. All right, get going, folks. Yes, Harsh, Hearth near Giant Shroom was on my was on my list. Now I've kind of made it awkward for where the third. So this can go. Yeah, this can just go here. All right. So far, this has been a hectic run. I don't think I've been doing it. Lacking the builders. We have no builders right now. Okay, we can take you, you, and you. Actually, let's leave you here just because you're you're pulling in some, some biscuits at the moment. But now we have builders. But we're about to need to solve the ancient burial site. So... Okay, Lizard Craftsman died. Oh, wood cutting angers the dead. Hostility increased by 15 points for every two fallen trees. Is active only when the court... So we have to stop chopping. Stop, chop, and roll here. Okay, so we're gonna... Let's get this... Let's just get this done. Ancient artifacts. Wow, this solve... This solve is very lucrative. But we're getting the lucrativeness from the order that we just completed. Also, why is the order not done? Oh, it is just done. Okay. Good. So, yeah. So so we're, we're happy even doing this not the impressive way. But we do need to stop chopping, which really makes me wish I hadn't destroyed the, the mill. The, the mine. Let's, uh, let's rebuild the mine. There's a better one down here. We have to chop like one tree to make that work. Ugh, and we can't chop one tree. Dang it. All right, we'll, we'll build the mine here. We may have to tear down the mine again, but we'll do that. Any reason to wait on this? No, let's get the, let's get the benefit. It's gotta be guild house. I think it's fine to build the mine here. I, I don't think it's a big deal. And having seven builders is going to, like, accelerate things slightly. So I'm happy with that. Proto-wheat. Man, see, proto-wheat comes with amber. Proto-wheat is way better than proto-fungus, I feel like. Okay, 
So let's see, where was the craftsman that we lost? Was it in here? I think it might have been. I know we have no camp for it. I'm just saying it's better. <laughs> Not a... Scouts are idle at the ancient burial site. Because I did not click investigate. Because I did not click investigate. Go! Go, go, go! Trade route. What do we got? Do we send some lumber? No. I think we, I think we still need it. But it's got to be guild hall. You think the Leviathan is the best of all? I'm gonna snooze that one for the moment. Okay, please build the mine. Is there something we're waiting for with the mine? What is uh what is the what is the best good that you get from the mine? Okay, so we got this going. Let me see if I can go find two harpies. The beavers do not yearn for the fields, I will say. That's a common misconception. I, I think I put a, a beaver and a harpy in here to do this. Much as I would like to have two harpies, it's going to take a minute, I think. New trade routes. Ooh, stone trade route. Yes, please. Oh, we're short on packs of provisions. And then we still have incense, but we don't have any packs of provisions. So I need to, do we, we don't have anyone working on it, but we also don't have anything to feed into it. Mm. We need a, we need a better source of provisions. I guess maybe let's stop planting plant fiber. Meat, leather, sea marrow, crystallized dew and jerky. Yeah, I can see why that would be a nice one to pick up. Fuel supply is going to be a little spicy. What's going on? We have four builders. Why is everyone just kind of like chilling so hard? Why did someone stop? Oh, okay. I was like, did someone stop building this? We're going to have lots of planks very soon. So I'm, I'm just going to send this off because I don't think we're getting anything else out of it. Because this is going to be pr producing nine planks for every three wood. Holy smokes. But the fact that we took a huge population hit means that we're going to have a very hard time staffing everything up right now. For now, I'm going to take one of you off of there. And then I don't really want to spend the wood to move shelters right now because we are so, so in rough shape on on things. We have six coal to carry us through the storm. Doesn't feel great. Okay, are you almost done up here? Two minutes left. No, you're not. All right, so we're, we're not going to get another influx of wood. I have three builders. The only thing you should be building is this mine. Build the damn mine, please. Uh, no, we're good on bricks. Yeah, okay, I'll do that, and then... Just 
Because now we're going to lose all our builders to the mines. Let's see. Swap you to that. Coal only. Everybody in. <laughs> Everybody in. Right, we still have one builder. We're, we're not that far off. Might as well upgrade the mine. Which is the upgrade that we always... Do we always go for pony first? But it seems like we should go for box crib, right? To get maximum resources out of it. So pony is better even though we're going to run out of coal pretty soon. Like we're, we're over halfway done. Okay, well, we can always do the, the resources upgrade second. Do we have a ton of mushrooms now? Fifty-five seconds, minute two, good stuff. Oil lumber. This is a nice one to work on. If we can if we can find the people to work on this one, that would be that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Staffing clan hall is not an easy thing to do. <laughs> Where would I come up with the people to do that? This is the question. I also don't love that we're going to get one reputation and lose some impatience right before the storm, but... We have an insane number of brawl of of training gears though because we have the training gear line. Okay, let's see. So that frees up two lizards, which is great. Can technically do this now. And then hopefully the fact that the mine has been producing for like a minute here means that we're Oh, the consumption is pretty aggressive. Harpies, you're the worst. Okay, everybody's housed. We can put we can put a lizard firekeeper in here. Does that get us there? Why why didn't you why didn't you work? Why are they still trending to zero? I really thought that was going to be enough. Do we have enough? We're so low on wood. Like, we literally don't have enough wood to move a house, do we? We need five and we only have three. But I'm, I'm confused. When I put this lizard in, why did the harpy not go up one? Hmm... Is there a building I could tear down? Because the parks move for free. So they're easy. But we need... We need to move two shelters. Which means we need to find ten wood. What do we get for the crude workstation? Eight wood. Eight wood. 
You got eight, 19 people in eight shelters, so tear down two. Yeah, I mean, it is... We do have some empty ones. All right, so we'll do... We should only need to do one, I think. And then... Welcome to the neighborhood. Okay, so now we have six of eight. Now you are... Okay, so yeah, so all, all we need to do is we just don't have... Oh no, these are fully... We, so we need one more to get there. We need to move one more. Which is going to be all of our... Okay, so that gets that upgraded. Okay, so that does save the day, but... Now we have other problems. Like fuel related problems. Although we're looking kind of okay on fuel. We have nine coal. That may be enough to carry us through. So let's see. All you really are waiting on is the planks. We can start delivering the planks here. I'm going to activate this. We have no builders though, eh? Yeah, we're just waiting for more people, I think. Only so much we can do here, I think. Without taking our foot off the gas. Lumber mill is idle. That's true. All right, let's get it. Let's get a builder going back and forth. We have the arena order done. Which will give us back 30 of the 50 training gear. So, this will be really good when we when we complete it. Right, no wood means no lumber mill. It is true. Okay, low fuel, but I think we're gonna I think we're gonna eek by. Things are a little dicey in this storm, but I think we're starting to stabilize as we move through year four. Yeah, we're good on we're good on fuel. We do have a black treasure stag. I don't know if that could be... I saw a black treasure stag, and there's also a, a royal stag somewhere down here. A royal treasure stag down here. We could potentially try and do something with those to try and get an influx in economy type stuff. How is the trade quest progress? It is 29 of 150. And we have to win. So yeah, it's we need we need some of these to start popping off. Uh, packs of provisions. Do we have someone working on them? We don't right now. We don't really have. We're very light on provisions, but I guess we can put one person in there. Yeah, the time is time is short. I don't think we're gonna. I don't know that we're gonna get the contract done. Realistically speaking, things would have to start trending in a very positive way. A big influx of people will help. I'm, I'm just going to take the most people that I can get on that one. We do have new trade routes available. I think probably just because we just created a pack of provisions. We can't, we just can't do much with packs of provisions. It, it's not the limit. It's the, it's the, it's the source of, of materials. We don't have a consistent source of basically any of these, except for the berries, and we heap, we we drop the ball a little bit on the berries. So, you know, like I, I can set I can set this to fifty, but well, we don't we're not currently harvesting eggs. Like we could, in fact, we don't have a trapper's camp, so like. We do not currently have eggs galore. I mean, we do. We can. We could do these here, but we're super low on manpower. I don't think right now we can afford to put two people in, in harvesting these. I think the berries are our better bet. 
if we can get this to, to kind of function. But yeah, right now we don't have packs provisions. I do want to send this one off, even if it's just the single, the single pop, I think it's better to get something. I mean, so, so you think that we should build a trapper's camp over another herbalist camp is what you're saying. Because we're getting insects 40% of the time from the fungus, which we can also funnel into our packs of provisions. I think I'm not I'm not convinced that that's better. I kind of feel like having three herbalist camps going to town on the proto fungus is going to get us nearly as much material for that as as doing straight eggs. But I also get direct pickled goods from this, right? Okay. Well, we'll try it out. But that means that this is going to get canceled. And even, even then, we don't have enough wood. So we're waiting for the storm to be over regardless. We can do three choppers. Three choppers. Where do we want to go if we want to do choppers? I guess we'll just do these ones. Uh, yeah, but let's move this. Let's put this over here. Oh, yeah, rotting wood. Yep, good call. Deliver the camp storage then. Only mark trees. I guess I'll take one beaver out of here. Once this beaver gets over here, this should be a very quick... In fact, I can move this like this so it's even quicker to go back and forth. And that should be a quick back, forth, back, forth. Okay, Harpy Resolve just bottomed out. What changed? It must have been a lack of food. We can favor them, though. So we'll do that. We will see in Lustrous. We will see. Okay, you guys are done. Let's, let's do a little bit of micro, get a few more people going here. Right, you guys don't have any more pots. Use barrels, use water skins. We have 67 food. I should have... Turned off raw earlier, probably, but we'll do that. And we should weather the storm just fine. Uh, I don't believe I'm out of parts. Let me check. No, I have nine parts. It's it's the wood that's been the problem. But I think we're good. What, uh, what was the indication that you thought that it, we were out of parts? Okay, good. Do that, but get you out of there. Put you back in here for now. The building wall above the camp. Thought it was parts, not wood. Ah, okay. What do we got on offer for trade routes? We can send away insects or we can send away stone. Well, let's send away as much stone as we can. I know it's not ideal, but they're going to reset anyways. So locking those trade routes in, even if they're just quick turnarounds, is at least getting us a little bit of progress. Okay, 
So you, my friend, sell that. Another way of the forest. More coal production doesn't sound like the worst thing in the world either. True. Cornerstone is a good call before that. 50% the amount of goods produced in the plantation seems awfully good. Gain 10 jerky when pie is produced or wealthy settlements attract. Uh, newcomers bring 40% more goods with them for every hearth level. I think I like large baskets here. We have our plantation rolling. It's just the one plantation, but I think it's good. We're going to do maximum number of people. Well, it's five and five. So I'd rather have, I think, eh, having some more beavers, I think, helps. Yeah, I, I like uh, I like large baskets. I, we just took the people also, so I should have done that before generous gifts anyways. So large baskets it is to erase my error. Let's deliver that. See what our final order is. All of the waters or need for brawling. Need for brawling is easy to do. We have everything we need for this. The plantation is staffed. Oh, yeah, the plantation was not staffed. You're correct. I I did a bit of, quote, micro there. <laughs> okay, so let's see. So everybody, everybody out of there. We need to get some freaking wood going. And let's just put him near the warehouses. So like, this isn't a bad place. Just do some choppy chop there. Because that's near a warehouse. And where's the other wood camp? Uh, I wanted this so that we can do... So we can put something there. There we go. Okay. So that's that's making progress. We now let's look at the trader. So sell the ancient tablet for sure. You don't have parts, so that's that's what it is. Uh we have we have barrels and stuff right now, so I'm feeling kind of okay with that. So it might just be and sell the wine, sell the ale. Like I don't think we need any of his goods. So it's really just how much how much uh, can we get? I would like to get the way of the forest. So I think this is our trade. Get a little bit of training gear just to even it out. You'll probably sell the incense too. It's a big improvement. That's a lot of money. That feels pretty good. Let's do that. I'd like because I'd like to float a little bit of extra money. Specialized money mining is somewhat tempting. That's true. Let's get rid of those, and then maybe we can save the incense for a solve. Eh, maybe we just clear the guy out. Yeah. Let's do that. Because the, the specialized mining would be nice, just from the perspective that I think it would solve our fuel issues, which were our non-zero. Yeah, let's do this. And then we'll pick up Way of the Forest. And then we'll pick up Mining. Which incentivizes me to keep some people in here, but I think for the moment we're going to... We're just going to do that. Generate some more planks, because we are now out of planks. Okay, and the Guild Hall should get done pretty quickly after that. You don't need to be favored anymore. Wait, I'm confused. This this coal went up when we upgraded. Oh, you get a deeper mine either way. I thought Box Cribs was the only one that made the mine deeper. That's the that's been the confusion and why I've been saying what I've been saying. Okay. Noted. Now we could 
Uh, we do want to... Let's fulfill our need for brawling. Let's do some brawling. Because we have... We have training gear. We could also... we might. This might be a good time for us to get packs of provisions going. All upgrades get plus deposits. Got it. That's the thing that I was confused by. What, what did we have for this here? Market we know is good. But we're, we're struggling. I mean... I think market is good because it's also it's also relatively cheap. So I'll grab that. Even though we're we're spread a little thin, I don't think we can send coal away right now. I don't want to send water skins away, but let's do let's do as much insects as we can. Or do I want to wait for packs of precision provisions to aid the lizard men? We get five lizards for that. Uh, no. We get three lizards for that, but I think it's still worth it for the three lizards. So let's wait for packs of provisions to get done, and then we will turn that in, and then we'll do trade routes. I'm going to queue that up. They're being delivered, I think, as we speak. But I can double check. Stone cutters camp. Where do we have any more stone? We may be out of stone. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything showing up on the map. Okay, for the moment, I don't mind getting the person back. Or we could just crack into this and get a small stone deposit. That doesn't sound like the worst idea in the world. Trapper's camp is empty. How'd I do that? I thought I put someone in the trapper's camp. Got that. Oh, we're short of gear. Hmm. I mean, maybe Stonecutter's camp goes so that we can get... Yeah, we'll, we'll bring it back if we need it. But we need the gear for this. To get our third one of those online. Okay, let's do aid for the lizard man. We get three more lizards out of that. That's big. And then we have we have one left, but more may come in soon. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off and try and get some bigger trades out of that. Because four lizard men. What a difference four lizard men make. Yeah, no, it's an interesting, it's an interesting change. Okay, so for the moment, do we just, what do we get out of this? 25 clay, 25 insects. I wouldn't mind getting 25 insects. Let me put someone on that. And then... We're sitting on three right now. I'm going to toss another guy in here just to try and get some... Some of those. The lizards are, are pogging out of their gourds at the moment. Uh, that is that is serious business. We do have two people working here. We could pipe this. It is the water type that we have. We have pipes. So I'm going to do it. Get that, get those packs of provisions going. Yes, I, I'm trying to get some more packs of provisions so I can lock in some some bigger trades in Lustrous. I, I didn't want to fire off a trade with like one pack of provisions. Like the, the insect meat one is the one that I think is most alluring. So I, I'd love to get that going. What did we have down here? Forum skewers Weaver. I, I'm going to pick up Weaver. Yeah, how are we doing? We don't have that much. We have 22, I guess. So we're okay. I'm going to take the Weaver. And here's my thinking on the Weaver. We could go like flour into biscuits through mushrooms. 
but the weaver gives us a place to put harpies if things get bad uh resolve wise because they they love the weaver so we could like we could do that just to have a place to park them that will give us a little extra resolve bump to kind of keep us safe the provisioner is probably better but we just piped the the old provisioner might still be worth it maybe we buy the provisioner and we pipe it yeah i think that's the better play We don't get our pipes back if we tear this down, I don't think, unfortunately. But now we're sitting at 16. Okay, so that's that's very good. Now we can do kind of like a big... Are we really one insect short of that? It's lame. Don't really want to send away the water skins or the coal. Ugh. I'm going to try and wait for one more insect to try and get a double hit out of that, but that's a bit disappointing. Get more options? That's probably a good idea. Let's grab another option here. That doesn't help. Let's grab another option here. Another coal option. Don't really want to ditch that. Grab a rain shade option. Ale doesn't help. Likely to have insects in the granary storage. Yes, we do. Good call. That will allow us to... Oh, now we only have 26 insects, though. <laughs> All right. Just going to lock that in while it's, while it's still on offer, I guess. And then we have 10 coal... Not really. We did just get grain flower production, so that may be a good one in the future, but I think I could bankrupt us by doing one more, one more option, but yeah, nothing, nothing doing. It's true. We could send out coal just because we can get, we can get more of it relatively quickly by putting more, where, where are all our beavers right now? They're all chopping trees right now. We can probably take one beaver out of here. Let's take one beaver out of each of our woodcutters. Where the heck is our other woodcutter? Ah, it's down there. Okay. Oh, this this place is clear. So that's good. And then that will allow us to put three beavers in here. There we go. Okay, need for brawling is slowly getting fulfilled. We're delivering planks, which will probably mean that the guild hall is going to start commencing pretty soon here. And we should get a good influx of berries in the not-too-distant future. Our wood situation is looking much, much better. Oh, this got finished. Do we have any, any random harpies laying around? Put that, because that will make the, the lizard happier. Slap you like that. Okay. And if only I hadn't murdered all of the harpies. We also have... We finished this... Do we finish this large cache? We didn't. It has a lot of good stuff in it, too. Might be worth trying to find people to work on that, but it's a long haul, for sure. You didn't re-enable the brawling in the clan hall? Yes, I did. Yeah. No, I, I did. That's why that's why the lizards are losing their minds right now. <laughs> so that we're still at 37 on the on the commenda contract. That's like there's a lot to do there. Let's see, we have oh, we have no builders. Unfortunate. Alright, we don't need two people in the makeshift post. Let's get some builders going. Now, lizard houses, those are planks and fabric. Am I remembering that correctly? No, bricks. Bricks and fabric, which we could probably build two. We don't need, we don't need them any happier, though. And the, the lizard relatives would be nice, but we don't have a skewer source, so it's probably too much to, to hope for. 
Okay, so what's the current state of things is you're at 12 of 14 and you are at 9 of 14. So we could take two people, we could take one person out of this one, but it doesn't get us there until we get another influx of people. Guildhall is going up. And market is going to be a fast follow. Uh, we do have homeless. Oh, actually, yes, indeed we do. I guess we build lizard houses. Ah, uh, maybe not. No, I think we just need to... Do we have a lot of planks at the moment? We do have we do have a fair amount of planks, right? So maybe, maybe a big shelter to solve that quickly. Let's just slap down two, two big shelters so that we have some flexibility on both. Because both we're going to be trying to get up to the next level. We do need to rebuild the park over here that we stole also. Yeah, that ignoring the homeless was a huge oopsie there. So we could send out the leather... So I don't want to send out the water skins. Stone. How much stone can we send? 45 for 10? Sure, I'll do it. We have two builders right now. We have another mine we can potentially do there. We technically get six from one of these, so let me let me deactivate this one for the for a second. We'll need it in a minute, but someone could focus on this one, please. Why is our why are we doing I guess we're partway through harvesting it, so it's not actually that we only planted that much. It's that I didn't pay attention to it until now. Is, is there something blocking us from building this? I guess we're building this instead. Oh, there we go. First delivery went in there. So let's see. So we can... Let's stop you from making packs of provisions. Which is the only thing you're making, so... But it's four there versus six here. Is this also clearance water? It is. So we could we could just pipe this one too, right? Are we... Yeah, it's our last four pipes, but I think it's worth it. Let's just do that. We'll do this. Turn off the consumption there. Put our guy in here. And for now, just make some packs of provisions and also some flour occasionally. I wouldn't mind getting two people in there. Uh, but, but now we don't have a builder. So one person for now. Just kidding. Leather or coal? We're, we're doing okay enough on coal that I'm going to send some coal out. We can at least sustain coal in the meantime. Like o over the course of the storm, we can continue doing coal stuff. So... Is there anything we need out of this makeshift post now? Nah, I think we destroy it. That's a good call. Also, that means that our packs of provisions will go faster. Okay, homeless problem solved. Soonish. We have the wood for this. Wood is looking really good. I don't think we need this one quite yet. We do need some... We do need us. Are we making some fabric? I guess we are making some fabric. We can put a third... Well, we need... We need another builder. So we'll do that. And then what do we have down here? Trapper's Camp. Well, we like... 
We like the Trapper's Camp, for sure. Yeah, I think we just take the Trapper's Camp. Keep our eggs going. Because now we can move this over to... Do we have any, like, big egg deposits that are actually near a warehouse? I guess this isn't too bad. Is it worth... Is it worth trying to set something up with these big egg nodes? They're pretty far away. And we'll do it. Uh, it's just it's just lack of people. That's all. But it's a good idea. More more tra trade route arrival is, is a good idea. Small eggs are still worth it. Okay, then we'll we'll stick down here then for now until we clear this out, and I will disable all the non-egg variants. Okay, we're gonna have a big influx of people when the lumber camps go offline. Need for Brawling is taking a lot longer to complete than I expected it to. We're still on we're still on resolve. I'm a little worried about the harpy happiness. Harpy happiness feels a little a little sad. Okay, we get to send one more of these out before the reset, so I'm just gonna send out some leather. We're at 60 of 150 now. The tiniest text the screen the world has ever seen. Okay. Oh, we don't get below three. We're two off. Extreme lame. Yeah, Harpy Resolve. Now, if I had taken the Weaver, I could have at least put people into it. Oh, this is messy. So we don't have a building that Harpies like working in. I'm afraid the need for brawling is going to be complete only with 20 lizards, unless I misread. Have at least 20 villagers with brawling need fulfilled for 30 seconds. So you think we're going to run out of training gear before we do it? Or we need to have 20 lizards for the brawling? Do only lizards brawl? I guess that's the I guess that's the case. Um, so okay, so I is there any way that we can help the harpies? We already have a lizard in here. This getting built will upgrade this, but it's gonna upgrade it to level two, which is not particularly important. Um, I don't think there's anything we can do here. How much guild house resolve bonus? Expected gain two. Ah, that's a good call. So it's still not enough, even with a favoring. Still, still fine idea though. Oh, blast the happy water. That's a good call. I forgot we had we had happy water. Uh, let's see. We'll take. I guess we'll take two out of proto fungus. And that'll do it. I yes, happy water is a is a good call in lustrous. I forgot we had we had that. Wait, there's no reason not to do this. Now, what is what's going on with with snap cold? Villagers with this effect have 50% chance of consuming double the amount of food. Five of 27 active. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we, we, we need to pick as ma up as many uh, as many lizards as we can in future uh, future offerings. I mean, keep sending the stone away for 20 amber, 80 stone. The only thing right now that's on my menu that really needs the stone is this. So let's make sure we just keep 40, I think. Yeah. We'll do that. Do we have people available right now? Should I get this going? We do. Just because that's some, some resources. Can you use brawling gear to open caches? No. I'll use stone this time, but that's a good call. The fact that we're too over into hostility 3 is a little... Uh. We wouldn't mind having some pipes, too. If we see any on sale, I may grab those. But... We have... We have a problem, which is that our builder... We don't currently have... Oh, no, actually. I forgot. Granary does fabric. These guys just never work on it. Why are you always creating pickled goods and never creating fabric? I'm gonna hit this up. Oh, I want to see him after his coffee break just do... Do the... Do the thing. Someone make some... I think you're eating pickled goods. That's why that said that. Or maybe you're delivering it. We could probably disable packs of crops. Okay, we got the second one. Oh, and patience pushed us out of level three. Nice. Can you knuckleheads make some fabric for me for the love of all that is holy? Yes. We need three, though. Okay, I need to see them both working on that, and then I can reduce that back down again. Trade route again. We do have a bunch of insects. So let's send them off. So, okay, what are we going to get here? No lizards. Well... Forget you very much. The parts we're, we're okay on, so I'll take the larger population gain. And with that population gain, we're going to be in a place where I should get our, our decor up and operational over here. Because we're going to have enough people for another level two. But no lizards is a bummer. With five packs per on crops, we might want to have a higher limit. That's fair. I just am not sure I want it doing like... I'm not sure we want to have that many packs of crops, but... Okay, those guys are going to take a while. We're looking good on fuel. The The fuel crisis has uh, has abated. So you can, yeah, you can keep going over here. We're about to enter year six, which is a little bit of a nail-biting scenario. But are we winning these in the time? The, the year eight, like, time limit really makes me nervous. Year eight end, so beginning of nine, yeah. So I guess we have a bit of time. We have a lot of a lot of reputation to go though, with very few of these left in left to do. Need for skewers is gonna be annoying. We don't have a we don't currently have a way to do skewers. Hmm. 
Time to build species houses. All right, let's uh, we'll cancel this then. Do that. Start with three lizard houses. It's two harpies either way, so it's not it's not gonna move the needle that much for us. What's left in this? A bit of clay. We can start getting some copper from this since we're we're good on coal. Make sure to up the fabric priority. Ugh. Freaking fabric. I just feel like when left to their own devices, they never make they never make fabric when they're tied. Really frustrating. Maybe I can just buy a bunch of fabric. Settlement uh, known as a trading hub. Gain one reputation point every time you sell 60 gold worth of stuff. That seems pretty good. Cheap construction. We could rebuild the whole place for a huge boon. I think it's trade hub. Yeah, it's fine. It's good. It's good. Let's do this. We'll take We'll take more people. Get those two going and then let's See what let's see what you have on offer. Give me all your freaking fabric. More metallurgy. Re another reinforced saw blades is just comical. Could buy some purging fire. Yeah, bricks are a good call. Looks good to me. There we go. That just that just alleviates our need to be producing those things, which we were not doing a good job producing anyways. Now none of our trade routes popped here. What's the deal with that? Oh, I just sold all our packs of crops. That's a bit unfortunate. Why didn't that show up though? Maybe it didn't, I just missed it. sell our soul and win but we have to we have to do 150 worth of trade routes oh do we have two active trade routes right now we do got it uh yeah we need we need another another 80 another 80 in trade routes so we can't we can't win too quickly such big problems We have six homeless, but I have six lizard houses that are hypothetically going to get built. Yeah, brawling is going to get stalled out until we get more lizards, which may never happen. Just send the ten that I have. They've almost broke that open, which is good. That will the market carts will make it significantly easier for them to do that. Anything else we want from here? We could take the training gear just to keep the lizards happy. But we're getting a, a steady supply of that anyways, I think. So I don't think there's anything else we need from her. Okay, they've already cracked that open, so the stone can go if we want it to. Jeez, parts? No thank you. 
Let's get an extra one on Dew, Dewport just to see. Skewers, hilarious. For some reason, we have an absolutely staggering amount of water skins. So I'm gonna I'm gonna send off a huge shipment of those. I don't know. I don't know if we need parts, to be honest. I feel like I'm gonna get surprised by it, and I wanna be careful. Let's see. Do we have packs of luxury goods? Yeah, let's use flour to make packs of luxury goods. That seems like a good idea. Hey, Rampkin, how's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, we're getting berries. I'm sticking with the mine. I started to produce a little bit of copper ore over here. We have no builders. It is because we just have... Okay, one less wood chopper for one more builder, I think is good. I don't know that we need to crack into any more anything. So, I'm a little worried that we're just going to be too slow on building all of these, uh, these lizard houses. But yeah, we don't need to do any more expansion. We're just cruising. All right, we are in the drizzle of act of, or of chapter six of uh, season six, year six. I'll get the word right eventually. And at this point, I think we're just uh, we're just on easy street. We're just going to do our best to keep to stay the course and uh, and see what happens. We will probably not get enough brawl enough uh, lizards to complete the brawling need, unfortunately, but. We'll keep letting the lizards do the brawling. See, so you're... You're two away, but the level three hearth, we probably would rather have people settle down here and get this one up and operational. But one builder means that's going to take a long time. I can take some out of the mines. Let's get two more builders going so that we get these houses done before the storm. And then skewers. We never we never came up with a, a source of skewers. So we are we're currently gonna be we have currently 50 incoming. Ooh, blight rot just appeared. We are at 111, so I should rebuild the blight post. Which lives here. There we go. Yeah, we'll need to pour some fuel into it as well. I think let's use, we'll use our coal for that. And hopefully so let's get the priority up on this one so that we don't get blindsided by it. But the houses are going up. It's a beautiful thing. How much does the next upgrade cost? Boatload of pipes. All right, so this will only be producing copper pretty soon, which won't be terribly useful. Trade routes available. Thank you. For 18, that feels pretty good. Yeah, we'll send the oil away. Are we out of bricks? No. We're good on bricks. Just since I'm I'm gonna move this trapper's camp over to here just because we're gonna we're gonna miss out on it eventually. And then we got the blight rot. Let's get Where can I borrow where can I borrow lizards from? Nowhere is the answer. Do we still have people working up here? Who's working up here? What do we what are we still getting? Clay? Alright. I'll let these two 
finish their deliveries and then I think I will swap the guild house put one there and then I was gonna put where was I gonna put that uh oh yeah blade rot blade post get you going here and we'll set the limit to apparently seven Oh yeah, we don't need to crank the happiness here anymore. That is that is unnecessary. I think they'll create enough that it should be good. All right, this is empty. So when that guy gets back, we will have we'll have a freed up Duder. We have no homeless. We have three lizard houses. Still no skewers options. So it seems like maybe building some harpy housing could be the could be the play. How many harpies do we have? We have seven. There you go. So that'll cover our harpies. So next storm will will be will be love and life, hopefully. Which next well, next storm is coming real soon, so maybe those won't be ready in time. We did not get the full harvest on this. What's the deal with that? Yeah, the the Druid Hut was was a good thought, but I oh, oh, Old Faroof arrives just in time. Nicely done, Old Faroof. Builders construct buildings faster. Accumulated dew gain two dew for every ten berries produced. Two additional beavers will come with each group. So I'm tempted to buy accumulated dew. I think it's very good for us because it gives us a source of crystallized dew just for free. Also, pigment's going out of control. Beaver friendship seems good. Just more more people. I'm going to sell like 30 of these. 31 of these for symmetry's sake. We could do something like that. We've had lots of coal offers recently. I do see sea marrow. That looks pretty good. I mean, I feel like the accumulated dew for 10 berries produced. I guess it's a little slow. Oh, pigment for the trade goods production. Good good thought. Okay, this looks pretty evenly balanced. It's a big get for us. Where where are we making trade goods again? Is that up here? Yeah, we'll, we'll whitelist that as well. Not that we don't have tons of flour as well. Right, let's take those off. Make sure that we can do that. Where else can we slap people? I'm going to put two of them in there. And I'll put another, another two of you in there. Let's crank the, the harpy happy. But then we're still a little shy. None of those look very good. 
Do we have another place we can happify harpies? We do have some houses coming in. That might help. Nothing here makes anybody happier. I'm going to buy this. I think we're going to have trade routes coming in pretty soon. Right off the bat, we can get a sea marrow trade with the sea marrow that I bought. 81 berries. 36. That puts us one off on trade routes, but we have 40 more coming in, so we don't actually need to do that much more. So let's not let's not bankrupt ourselves on berries. So we'll do that. But we still have we still have harpy issues. What if anything can I do? Yeah, yeah, we're feeling we're feeling strong. I don't know how to save the harpies. Oh yeah, I can favor them. <laughs> it's it's amazing when you just forget like a basic mechanic of the game, right? We didn't come up with much of a fuel reserve, unfortunately, so we might struggle to totally get the Blight Rotten check, but... Actually, it looks like we're gonna do... we're gonna do just fine on that, too. This looks like a reroll to me, though. Smelter, Furnace, Bathhouse... I mean, Bathhouse? What does it give? Global production rate of 25% increase. Same building. Do we have... Do we already have a good health? I don't think we do. I guess bathhouse is the take. How many harvest... How much have we harvest from the giant shroom? Uh, less than a quarter. Yeah, it takes a lot to do that. And we have 300 fungus. It's a lot of fungus. Why are you guys chilling? You're chilling because I set a low limit on this. Let's make this 100. And let's make this 100. Yeah, clan hall doing a lot of work, for sure. Trade route. Let's see, is there a place down here I can put a bathhouse that's in range? Looks like no. Harpies don't actually need the favoring anymore. I want... It was lizards that I wanted more of to try and complete brawling, but the, the game is being very lizard stingy, unfortunately. I don't think we're going to end up with another another option there. We didn't come up with a blueprint. We have a lot of blueprints down in the lower left, I will say. I know my my face is over them here. I'll move. I'll move for a second here. But like I think this is the most blueprints we have uh, we have had on a run to date. Our our blueprinteth overfloweth it seems. We could crack open this for the small encampment. <laughs> now that I look at it, that might help us get there. Okay. So, cornerstones first. Uh, export specialization. Uh, probably unnecessary, but I think clearly the right pick here. So, we'll grab that. We will grab as many lizards as we can. Slap some beavers in there. Uh, no homeless. We are immediately full up on homeless. Where's our other... Now, are 
we out of training gear? We are not. The, the lizards have just stopped being quite so excitable, it seems. Maybe deliver the small cash. Let's see. What are we going to get? One and one? All right. Fine. Where? There's a small cash somewhere? Did I miss that? I mean, I can put one person on it. It's just 25 clay, though. So this did get us one. So this will put us at 16. Now we could we could look around for a escaped convicts. Fallen lizard hunters again. There were three fallen lizard hunters on this map. Large and medium abandoned cache. Convicts is a free solve in five villagers. Oh, cool. Let's go do that then. We have nothing else to keep us busy while we, uh, while we churn away. We're almost out of coal here, which means we probably should build another mine. Where's our other woodcutter's camp? It's might as well be down here. Let's get this. Let's get this chopping faster. Upgrade the mine again. Uh, doesn't that require like pipes or something? We're kind of tapped out of all the resources that we could use to upgrade it, unfortunately. I remembered looking at that and we have literally nothing until the next trader arrives. Which they might they might be here soon, and it's possible that Tho Sother will uh, will provide us some goodies. But it is, yeah. I think building another mine is is reasonable. Uh, Trade route pops. We have we have officially entered the, the rich phase of the run. How in the world do you deplete one of these? I mean I guess we're we're below a quarter now, but let's see. Uh, villagers heard rumors of dangerous, uh, minus eight to global resolve is active only when the corresponding glade event is going on. So we'll do this immediately. Eight, we can, we can tank pretty handily. Let's just get that started. Clothier, we should also rebuild. Just so we have it. Two giant nodes in one of your games. Must have been a long game. That's all I will, will say on that. Oh yeah, we did we did lose a herbalist harpy. Sother arrived. Let's buy everything that Sother has. Let's see. Uh longer clearance duration. Uh next. Drizzle next clearance. We I we might want that just to to make it really easy for us to to bring this one home. Makes the the years tick by a little slower. Faster woodcutters. Drizzle duration. Unfortunately, we're in the drizzle now, so that doesn't do it. I think I'm gonna extend the clearance. Seven year game. Wow. So I'll grab that, and then. I think we just I think we just buy stuff. Yeah, 
we're already we're already above board. Looks good to me. Give me all of your things. See what this offers up. Tool shop. Tool shop isn't. What, what do tools require? Wood and copper bars or do? Yeah, we don't really have a an answer for that. And the temple is uh, Sacrament of Flame. Expected gain zero. You you had me at expected gain zero. But tavern. Yeah, we'll take a tavern. Okay. This will be done soon. Yeah, that was not a full plant. What's going on with this plantation that it's doing such a bad job? Is it just that I'm used to... I'm used to humans working? Is that the issue? You guys can all get out of there. So third, did you have tools? No, no tools. Sell that. So yeah, so we don't really have tools, so gaining Queen's Grace doesn't seem like it's the it's the play for us here. Now let's see. Of these five villagers that we gain, we would need uh, four of them to be lizards, but we'll also be, I think, getting two two free beavers with the cash in, but we'll see. We have three homeless. Looks like more lizard housing is probably the best option. And if I build five, then once those get built, then we'll have, we'll be good to go. You can win right now if you buy out the traders. Well, we're not, I mean, right now we don't have a trader, but like I could, I guess you're saying I could summon a trader and then do that. I want to, I want to see if we can get the brawling need met. We came this far. But we are a trading machine. Yeah, I called the trader. Old Faroof. By all of that that you have, That's a little too expensive. You can do all of that. This is just an instant win if I click the trade button, right? <laughs> is that the way that works? <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. Cool. Still, still happy about that. Uh, solid. All right, we didn't we didn't get to find out if our escape convicts paid off, but we get the contract, which means we'll get extra parts and amber, which is gonna be really good, given our prestige situation. And then next time, it looks like we're gonna start heading straight down, and going for the silver seal. Well, let's see if our if we got any meta currency unlocks here. 
It looks like we're going to be four experience shy of of getting the next level. Thanks, game. You have to... There's so few places to get experience. You have to ask yourself, why am I off by four? Like, this just seems like a... Seems like an avoidable thing, since they seem to be giving us experience only in even amounts. So wh where else is experience coming from? The world may never know. Okay, what do we have? Uh, you permanently gain a 2% reduction on fuel consumption in the hearth. You can get oil and coal from embarkation. That's, that's, getting oil from embarkation is kind of nice. Gain 3% bonus uh, to trader arrival speed is also interesting. I'm kind of thinking embarkation bonus colon oil is the best pickup right now. And then if we want, we can also get unlocks the starting ability of the species lizards. Gain 10 tools. Starting abilities are applied immediately after the species joins your town. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so I'm going to grab... I think I'm going to grab this one. And I'll grab this one as well. Or I do have 60, so I could also do this. Gain 10% more citadel resources whenever you finish a settlement. But yeah, I didn't even know there were species ability upgrades. That seems powerful. So we'll grab that for the next time we go lizards. Not going to go to my home. It's always a trap. But seriously, four off game. Four off. That's, that's the way you're going to do me dirty. What the heck is this? Barren land. Soil is too acidic. There is no fertile soil anywhere in this region. Special reward, royal resupply. Because we could... Like, the silver seal is down here. Which means we'll probably be doing royal woodlands next. Because that's the only one that I think definitely reaches... No, we only have to go two, so we could do Coral Forest next time. And then we would still be able to make it to the seal. But we'll probably beeline it. Because we have... How long do we have left? We have 12 before the Blight Storm. Yeah, so we'll do one, and then the second one will be... Well, the second one will be the seal one, right? It'll be two settlements, but one of them will be the seal settlement, I believe. Like, we couldn't go up and then come back down. No, it lets you do the seal even if you run out of time on range. Oh, okay. So we could do... So you're saying we could do, like... Uh, we could even, like, double back and do, like, a Scarlet Orchard, although we don't get a lot of food for that. Uh, we'd want to do this one because that maxes out our food resource, and then maybe we do, like, this tile, and then we could do the Silver Seal. Okay. But that'll be that'll be for next time. Hey, Rue. Oh, that was a, was that a while ago? No, that was just now. Howdy to you as well. So let me, uh, I think I'm going to take a quick break and then we're going to switch over to Spell Rogue, which I'm very excited about as well. So uh, I'm going to run an ad and Lustrous is going to remind you of where the Discord is and if you're watching on Twitch where my YouTube is. And uh, I will be right back. Don't worry, you won't miss anything except ads. But yeah, Spell Rogue in less than five minutes, BRB.
just in time, the dud. All right, let's uh, let's switch over here. Give me a moment to get the last spell going. YouTube folks, just chill for a second, and you will be uh, you'll be redirected to the promised land. There we go. Let me quit out of the game. Okay, reload. Reload this. Reload this. Reload all the things. <laughs> 